Hey everyone, it's Brian, your honest mechanic. Today we're going to look into a crucial topic for anyone who owns a car with an internal combustion engine, low compression symptoms. Understanding these symptoms can help you identify potential engine problems early on, saving you from more extensive and expensive repairs down the road. First, let's briefly discuss what compression is and why it's essential. Compression refers to the pressure built up inside the engine cylinders during the combustion process. This pressure is what drives the pistons downward, creating the power that ultimately turns your car's wheels. Proper compression is crucial for your engine to run efficiently and effectively. Now let's get into the symptoms of low compression. One of the most common signs is difficulty starting the engine, especially when it's cold. If you find yourself cranking the engine for longer than usual or it seems to struggle to turn over, low compression could be the culprit. This happens because the engine needs a certain level of compression to generate the heat necessary for ignition. Another telltale sign is rough idling. If your engine is running unevenly or feels like it's stuttering when you're stopped at a traffic light, it could be due to low compression in one or more cylinders. This uneven compression can cause the engine to shake or vibrate, making it feel like the car is about to stall. If you notice a decrease in your car's power output, low compression might be to blame. You might find that your vehicle is sluggish when accelerating or struggles to maintain high speeds. This loss of power occurs because the engine is not generating the proper amount of pressure in the cylinders, resulting in reduced combustion efficiency. In some cases, low compression can lead to increased fuel consumption. If your engine is not compressing the air-fuel mixture efficiently, it may compensate by using more fuel to generate the same amount of power. If you notice that you are filling up your tank more frequently than usual without a change in your driving habits, it's worth investigating the possibility of low compression. Misfiring is another symptom to watch out for. A misfire occurs when one or more cylinders fail to produce power consistently. Low compression can cause misfires by not providing enough pressure for the spark plug to ignite the air-fuel mixture properly. You might notice your engine stumbling or jerking, especially under load. Speaking of misfires, let's talk about OBD codes. While low compression itself doesn't have a specific code, it can trigger related ones. For example, P0300 indicates a random or multiple cylinder misfire, while P0301 through P0308 point to misfires in specific cylinders from 1 to 8. Other codes like P0171, P0172, P0174, and P0175 suggests that the engine is running too lean or too rich, which can be caused by low compression affecting the air-fuel mixture. It's important to note that these codes don't necessarily confirm low compression, as they can be triggered by other issues like faulty spark plugs, clogged fuel injectors, or vacuum leaks. However, they serve as a starting point for diagnosis and can guide your mechanic in the right direction. If your engine is burning oil due to worn piston rings or cylinders, you may notice excessive oil consumption. This can manifest as blue smoke coming from your exhaust pipe, indicating that oil is being burned along with the fuel. Low compression can exacerbate this issue as the lack of pressure allows more oil to enter the combustion chamber. In some cases, you might see visible smoke from the exhaust, even if the engine isn't burning oil. Black smoke often indicates that the engine is running rich, meaning there's too much fuel and not enough air in the mixture. This can be caused by low compression, not allowing the fuel to burn completely. On the other hand, white smoke can signal a coolant leak, which may be related to a head gasket failure, a problem that can lead to low compression. Lastly, abnormal engine noises can be a sign of low compression. You might hear knocking, rattling or hissing sounds coming from the engine bay. Knocking or rattling often indicates that the air-fuel mixture is detonating prematurely due to low compression, while a hissing sound may suggest a leaky valve or head gasket. If you're experiencing any of these symptoms, it's essential to have your vehicle checked out by a professional mechanic. They can perform a compression test to determine the health of your engine cylinders. This test involves removing the spark plugs and using a compression gauge to measure the pressure in each cylinder. If one or more cylinders show significantly lower readings than the others, it confirms the presence of low compression. 